Hello Gemini, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah's Spiritual Spot. And let's get into this reading for all Gen Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, October 12th through the 18th. Please take whatever is meaningful for you and leave the rest behind. On screen is the link to my website, which contains my podcast and blog. There's free readings available there. Um, via my advice column, it's totally anonymous. I will answer the questions on podcast. And let's do this. Gemini. What is going on with Gemini's? Oh, also, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> oh, two. Powerful personal growth, Gemini, is coming for you. Um, and calm amidst the, cha the chaos. I don't think you're calm. I think people see you as being calm. Let me just reiterate that. I don't think you're calm at all. I think you're the, 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 those feelings tend to overwhelm you, but it's through that storm that you're gonna have your most powerful personal growth. I'm just gonna pull a fairy card to see uh, what further messages we have for you. Temptation. Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit, perhaps one that makes you feel guilty? This fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever it's guys. So I feel like this is perfect for that because what are you leaning on um, in this chaos? You know, are you leaning on food? Are you leaning on chocolate? Are you leaving, leaning on alcohol to alleviate the stress? This is telling you that you cannot do that or you should not do that. I'm using my light sear tarot. Sorry, I drew a blank there. So subconscious conscious advice slash outcome. And then I will clarify those cards. Let's see. Gemini. Collective Gemini. Collective. Yes, thank you, Spirit. Five of Pentacles. In our subconscious mind. Conscious, we have our strength card. Love that. Eight of swords in our outcome slash advice from spirit. Wow. Our two of cups, our relationship card, clarifying this five of pentacles. This page of cups, clarifying the strength card. This Ace of Cups clarifying this Eight of Swords. This is definitely Gemini. For many of us, a relationship reading. It could be a romantic relationship. It could be a friendship or lost friendships. Um, we're going to get into this read. So whatever this relationship is, it's causing you turmoil inside like your emotions are all over the place you're having to or you're feeling the need to lean on other things um to numb the pain for you uh but it's through this storm that you're going to have the most powerful powerful growth and outcome represented here ultimately by that ace of cups we have this king of swords at the bottom of the deck uh so let's get into this read we have this five of pentacles. Fives always speak to some sort of loss. It speaks to obstacles. Um, specifically, it speaks to um, this five of pentacles speaks to loss, but loss of wealth, uh, financial loss, and also speaks of isolation. So subconsciously, this is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with it alone or you feel alone, Gemini. That's the overwhelming feeling I have. You're feeling alone. Um, clarified by this Two of Cups. Now this can represent, you know, your significant other, or this can represent a relative or someone close to you. This, this person that is close to you is making you feel isolated and alone versus cared for. So, you know, subconsciously you're dealing with that. 
subconsciously, you're going to find your strength, right? The strength card here, all strengths, which is strength cards, it's not physical strength, it's mental strength, it's emotional strength. So you're going to come into your power and be strong. You have infinite possibilities when it comes to your mental acuity. So I really want you to focus on fortifying your mind and emotion during this time. This is clarified by this Page of Cups. This Page of Cups, I feel, is the representative of this relationship. Whoever it is to you, if it's, if it's your lover, if it's your best friend, if it's your kid, if it's your coworker, this Page of Cups is someone who is immature emotionally. Um, it also represents a young person, so someone who is younger than you, who is just a little bit off balance because of their age and maturity level. They're not emotionally together, um, and this is what's causing the issues uh, with you feeling alone in your relationships. Um, in the outcome slash advice from spirit, we have this Eight of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords speaks to isolation, but self-imposed isolation. So you have walled yourself off, Gemini, from trying to get close with anyone and, and from letting anyone get close to you. Like, you have put this barrier up because of this hurt here. And you know, it's a normal response. But when you wall yourself off, you're compensating with negativity here, and this is gonna end up causing you chaos. Um, clarified here by the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups speaks to spirit giving you a hand here. Spirit is coming in and is bringing you new friendships, new relationships, is telling you, you're not alone, we're gonna beat this, but just take the first step with me and I'll help bring you the way all the way over. So this is the advice from Spirit now, is telling you to open your heart a little bit, to take that leap and bring new people into your life. can't make this up. This is everything I've just said right here in these three cards. So because you're feeling alone, it's heartbreaking. Nobody wants to feel that way. Nobody wants to get stuck in that emotion of heartbreak and loss and feeling that all the time because who can deal with that on a 24 hour basis? This is why people get anxiety. This, one, this is why people have to be put on medication. This is why people seek to numb that pain. This Nine of Wands speaks to the walls I was talking about. You have put up a barrier and you're giving everybody this side eye. You're overly cautious, you know, not taking a chance, not letting anyone cross to the other side. It's going to hold you back. But, excuse me, with this Ace of Cups highlighted again by this Queen's, Queen of Wands, you're going to come into your power here, you know. You, your, your confidence is going to get there if you take the hand from spirit. If you start building slow by slow by slow, little by little by little, you will come into this confident person again who has control of her power. See, she has that fire lit in her hand. She has her wand raised in victory. That is you, but you have to take that first step to become this knight. This knight is about action this is what it's telling you to pick up your sword charge forward into healing yourself so that you can attract the right kind of people so you can get rid of this isolation that you're feeling and this is your reading gemini for october 12th to the 18th i'm delilah rose and this is delilah spiritual spot